Hey guys, welcome back to the 10th inning. I've got eight big returns to go through with you this week. We've got everything from uh, Hollywood directors, actors, NFL, NBA, um, uh, MLB, WNBA, so many awesome returns. And then, as always guys, if you're looking to send out your own through the mail autographs, check out sportscardforum.com or sportscollectors.net. That's a great place to start. I've got a video up on my page that's more of a tutorial, but it's getting windy. My hair is going everywhere. Let's get to it. First return of the week. All right. First return of the week. Got this back on the 27th, and it's coming to us from St. Paul, Minnesota. Let's see what we have here. I think got some tape over the edge. Yeah, there we go. Looks pretty easy. And let's see what we have inside. We've got a no cart. We've got former Oakland A catcher Terry Steinbeck. Oh, wow. These have been out there for a while. Let's see how many he signed. Uh, we'll start with 1992 upper deck. Signed nicely here in blue Sharpie. Really nice. Man, I believe he does charge like a $2 fee. I mean, it's been so long. I can't remember, but... Of course, I'll put that information above, and you guys can see that for yourself. Um, looks like I sent him five cards, so I probably sent him ten bucks. We've got 1992 Fleer Ultra. Signed very nicely there. God, these all turned out really, really good. Here is 1993 Tops. That looks great. Of course, I will do a... Uh, Recap at the end, and uh, we'll talk about all of our favorite autographs from each return. This is 92 Stadium Club, I believe. Let's take a look at the back here. 90, hard to see. 93 Stadium Club. And we're going to end with 1989 Upper Deck. There we go. Kind of hard to see on camera here, but... Looks really good in person. Um, there you have it. So a five of five return from Terry Steinbeck. I mean, I don't know off the top of my head exact numbers, but I would say this might be the longest wait on a return I've ever had on the channel here. So kicking us off, five of five from Terry Steinbeck. Let's get to return number two. All right, and our second return, got this one back on the 27th as well from Santa Clarita, California. As a reminder, guys, I get all my uh, addresses from sportscardform.com or um, what's the other one? Sportscollectors.net. So if you need help, what do we have here? We've got a return and we've got Ghostbusters. This is from Mr. Patton Oswald. I sent him, uh, I think I sent him two cards, but he did sign the one here. Looks super cool. Widescreen SFX shot. Sorry, guys. Patton Oswald, he is in the new Ghostbusters film that is out right now in movie theaters. Frozen Empire. I really enjoyed it. Went with my son, and I think it's a fun uh, movie. I grew up on the real Ghostbusters. So if you grew up watching real Ghostbusters, you'll probably really like the new movie. Um, if you didn't, you might think it's too cartoonish. That's some of the negative feedback I've heard from it. But there you go. Not a movie review podcast. It's a card review podcast. So nice signature from Pat Oswalt. And that is our second return of the day. Let's get to return number three. And our third return, got this one back while I was on vacation on spring break. So I don't know the date. This is from North Texas. Actually, the rest of the returns this week will all be from spring break time. So I don't have dates, but who do we have here? It looks like we've got football and we've got former Chicago Bear, Dennis Gentry. Very nice. I believe I sent him two. I got two back. We'll go through these in just a second. But let's start with the Pro Set card here. Signed in a real nice um, thin blue Sharpie right on the bottom there. That turned out fantastic. Let's check the year on this card. This is 1989 Pro Set. There we go. 
And then we've got 1991 Fleer. This one turned out really good as well. Former wide receiver. Had a couple of really nice seasons for the Chicago Bears. Uh, I don't remember if he was part of the Super Bowl Bears. Let's see. Looks like he was, yeah. Rookie in 83 or 82. So there we go. A two of two from the former wide receiver. Now retired Dennis Gentry. Hope he's doing well out in Texas. And uh, let's keep chugging along. Here comes return number four. And here we go. Fourth return. Got this coming to us from Daniels, New Jersey. And who do we have here? Oh, very nice. We've got Carol Blazjowski with a one of one return. Very nice. I just sent this off to her a few weeks ago and already got it back. She signed in blue. And this turned out really, really nice. Um, I mean, unfortunately, with that dark navy blue USA jersey, it just kind of drown out the uh, ink a little bit on the left side. But overall, these are looking really cool. Um, so this is from 1994 Flare. I actually opened up an entire box of these. That video is actually going to drop pretty soon here on the channel. I haven't had time to uh, get around to editing yet, but it's coming soon. And uh, if you're in the market to send off to any of those USA players, I do have a listing up on my eBay and they're all for sale. Um, there's not many cards in the set, so I was able to put a whole set to the side for myself and uh, selling all the extras on eBay so I can um, hopefully recoup a little bit of that money. So there we go. 101 from Carol Blazjowski. Let's get to our fifth return. And our fifth return, this one's coming to us from Miami, Florida. And let's open it up and see who we have inside. We've got former Chicago White Sox pitcher, Brian Drimmon. Very nice. Man, uh, former, I believe he was a relief pitcher with the White Sox. Gosh, he uh, played when I was just a little kid, so it's hard to remember exactly um, how much he played. But, um, yeah, Brian Drummond. Let's see, this is 92 tops. Looks like this was his uh, second year with the White Sox after spending several years in the minor league system. That one turned out great. And here is his 1993 Don Ross. And this one turned out really nice as well. Looks cool. Let's see how he did in that 92 season. And seven innings pitch. So it looks like he spent the majority of the year in the minors. And I'm uh, not sure how his 93 season went. But that is a two of two from my favorite team. Uh, send prayers my way. It's been a rough start to the year. <laughs> I actually was watching the Sox right before I hit record on this. We dropped another one, so I think we are now 2 and uh, 12. So it's been brutal over on the south side of Chicago, but hopefully uh, greener pastures ahead. Um, but it's going to be a long road. But let's get to uh, our next return, number six, coming up. All right, our sixth return is coming to us from Santa Clarita, California. Renfield Productions. Okay. Interesting. Who do we have here? No way. We've got Gremlins director Joe Dante. Oh, man. I know I sent him a couple cards. It looks like he signed all of them. This is incredible. Uh, Gremlins, one of my favorite movies. I found some of these Gremlin 2 cards, which the sequels equally is awesome. The uh, Mogwai Invasion, he even personalized this one in gold and then signed it in silver. I appreciate the uh, artistry there by Joe. And then here he is, signing the uh, Clamps new secretary. One of the, one of the bad ones. And then, of course, I had to send him a gizmo. And that one turned out great as well. Gizmo in morning. So there we have a three of three from legendary 
Hollywood director Joe Dante. Uh, Gremlins is up there as one of my favorite Joe Dante movies. Um, but I have to say my number one Joe Dante film of all time would definitely be the uh, Tom Hanks-led movie, The Burbs. So I'd love to hear in the comments what's your guys' favorite Joe Dante film. And uh, maybe we'll have something in common there. So that's our sixth return. Let's get to number seven. All right, seventh return. Got this from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I believe, yeah, Pittsburgh, PA. And our next player is going to be former Pittsburgh Pirate, Sid Bream. Very cool. I believe I sent him four. I did. Okay. So we're going to have some TTM classics on here. Got the 87 tops. Looks like we've got some uh, Romans chapter 3 verse 20 on here. That one turned out great. Here is 1990 tops. This one is hard to beat when it comes to my favorite ones from each uh, player. Looks like he's got John 832 on there. I don't send out a lot of these FLIR cards. So this one um, is kind of a rarity on the channel here. I think that turned out pretty nice. This is 86 FLIR. And then we've got 1989 Upper Deck. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough choice for my favorite out of the four. Those all turned out amazing. And whew, that's gonna to be tough. Okay, well, I guess we'll discuss at the end of the video here. But uh, a 4 of 4 from the former first baseman, Sid Bream. Let's get to our eighth and final return of the week. All right, last one of the week, number eight, making its way from the Metroplex in Michigan. It's got an extra piece of tape on here. We have... Former NBA player, former Piston, Terry Mills with a one-of-one one return. Nice. I believe I sent Terry uh, four cards, if I'm not mistaken. And he only sent one back. Or maybe I just sent one. You know what? I originally had packaged up four, but I only sent one because he does charge a fee. So I believe he's $5 a card. And... Um, he had been a little slow on returns, but I think I got this one back pretty quick. So, yeah, maybe people had not been sending money with their cars. I don't know what the reason was on the slow return. But anyway, we've got 93, 94 tops finest for my PC collection to round out the week. Wow. Eight amazing returns. Let's go ahead and get to the video recap and talk about my favorite card return for each player all right guys video recap uh, i want to first start by just saying thank you for checking out the video today uh, appreciate you guys being a part of the channel a part of my card collecting journey hopefully everybody is uh, enjoying the content and of course if you have questions or um, some thoughts on what could make this even better definitely leave it in the comments I love interacting with you guys and hearing, you know, some of your favorite players or favorite cards from the return. So, uh, but let's break it down. We had eight up and eight down. And uh, one of the most surprising returns of the week finally got back my uh, Terry Steinbach. So uh, I went with the 1992 upper deck. I thought the autograph was super clean on here. Um, I did have the uh, return from Patton Oswalt, which I believe was a one of two return, uh, but he did sign and return, which is awesome. Um, I've got the uh, 1991 Fleer for Dennis Gentry. I uh, just had the one of one from Carol Blaskowski. Uh, what with the 1992 Tops for Brian Draymond. I went with the uh, personalized Gremlins 2. Uh, from Joe Dante, although it was really tough picking between that one and Gizmo, but uh, ultimately Gizmo's on this card too, so it's just as cool. Uh, what with the 87 tops for Sid Bream? 
and I finished up with a one of one from uh, Terry Mills, former Detroit Piston, and um, continue to add to my top finest autograph set. I'll have to do a video soon and update you guys on how it's coming along because I would say I've got to be up to about 40 or 50 autographed Topps Finest cards and it's only like a 220 card set so I'm doing pretty well uh, on those so we'll, we'll do an update video soon but thanks again for watching guys and we will see you on next week's video with all new returns.